All right, guys, welcome back to Louis Marco's Natural Bodybuilding and Fitness, aka Diced to the Socks Daily. That's right. All right, guys, just a follow up on the subject I'm discussing uh, these days, namely, you know, summertime, getting fit, staying diced, you know, lean, having a lean body, crisp looking physique, and so on. Of course, fat loss. Got um, actually two comments from uh, you guys. The first one uh, is stated in the following. Louis, I'm over 25% body fat. I am quite uh, apprehensive about losing weight because I'm gaining strength on a weekly basis in the gym. What do you recommend? Now listen, my friend, if you are gaining uh, strength on a weekly basis, that means you are definitely, definitely a beginner. just doesn't make sense for a an intermediate or an advanced bodybuilder to gain uh, significant strength gains on a weekly basis. It doesn't happen. If you're natural, I'm sorry, bro, it does not happen. Not in this world, not in the other wonder world reality, right? So you are a beginner. But listen, even if you're a beginner, I'm sorry, my friend, 25% body fat for a male at any age is not healthy. It's just not healthy. You are obese by any standard. Even in the US, you are definitely overboard. I will not recommend you roll out that body fat. Listen, go back to a healthy uh, body fat percentage. If you roll at 15, it's okay. 15, it's okay. 25, just not good, not good whatsoever. Uh, you will have a higher estrogen level. Whether you like it or not, go do some research being at 25% body fat, you are fat, and fat in man uh, means, without a single doubt, without a single doubt, this is documented, a higher than usual estrogen level, meaning you have female hormones all over your body, which will counter, of course, the effect of what we're looking for, an anabolic effect, meaning testosterone. Not healthy, uh, you know, for a whole array of reasons, not only for your hormonal balance, but for your heart, your arteries, uh, even for your well-being, my friend, at 25%, uh, I cannot imagine you uh, taking a look at your body and seeing or even noticing any kind of definition or muscle shape. You don't even know what you're doing, right? Uh, how can you know if your lower chest is okay, your upper chest is okay? Because you cannot see them. You can probably feel them, but I'm sorry, you cannot see the contours of your muscles. You cannot spread your lats. You can take a look at me when I was fat. I was definitely lower than 25% body fat. And even with my lats, who are by, by any account one of my greatest feats, I could not pull them uh, up front because I was fat, right? I was like the, the fat um, donut-eating boy. You know what I mean? So that's what's up. Next comment, which is uh, somehow confirming what I've stated in the previous video. The gentleman says, this is exactly what I have realized since I have gotten to lower body fat. If I eat a burger, I can tell in order uh, for me to stay lean, I cannot splurge whatsoever. My diet is diced to the socks and I'm diced to the socks. Laugh out loud. It is absolutely true, guys. I recall even when I was back in the day at the university, I used sometimes to go overboard and eat a lot of pasta, right? Because I used to live by uh, myself. You know, if you're a student, sometimes you don't have time coming back from, you know, uh, from the courses. So I was pretty much put in a huge amount of pasta, right? Like macaroni and whatever and eaten and, you know, put in a huge amount of, uh, you know, sauce like bolognese sauce with uh, grounded meat, tomato, all the spices. It tastes so good. However, I guarantee you, I used to uh, recall this, I was saying to my friends the day after, I feel fatter. I definitely noticed a fat gain, only with one huge meal. It is absolutely true, guys. If you are basically following a correct diet, not even a strict one, but a clean diet, and you go overboard, right, and you go like left or right, I guarantee you, you will notice it. It will count. A lot of people think, okay, just one meal is not a big deal. Definitely counts, guys. I guarantee you, it definitely counts and you will notice it. It is that simple. You will be basically like a Swiss clock. You will be pretty much um, somehow your body will, uh, will follow a strict diet. You know, like 
most of you guys, if you're following a strict diet, you will also notice that you will go to the toilet to take a dump, usually always at the same time, because your body will be always somehow uh, programmed to do certain things at, at, at a certain time. You will always wake up and try to sleep at the same time. It is that, uh, that strict. Personally, I gain fat by going downtown once a week, once a week, and my friend was offering me a huge combo meal with a lot of shish, uh, shish taok, uh, hummus sauce, garlic sauce, big uh, pile of uh, tabbouleh salad, plenty of oil, uh, olive oil in it. That meal, one single meal, makes a different change in my body. And you saw me, guys, I gained fat. Same thing happened in the holidays, you know, a few uh, chocolate here and there, few cakes here and there, it will show. It is that strict, brother. Uh, ask yourself a question. 2012 uh, Olympian uh, game in London, you know, the Olympics will be quite soon, right? In whatever, like July or August, I don't know. Do you think that these Olympian athletes dare to cheat? No, bro. If you want to be on top and if you want to be one of the best and looking special, you need to eat special, meaning strict. It is that simple guys that uh, it is so true so cheats you will pay for them every cheat counts so that was that guys i'll come back with uh, plenty of other videos please subscribe if you're not subscribed as of yet also thumb up my video if you like it and salute you wherever you are have a nice one i need to go pee bro